Okay, so it's time to enchant a pickaxe. Well, that failed. Hello, and welcome to Feed the Beast Creations, where I show you all the wonderful things I've made in Feed the Beast. Today, we will be looking at an improvement to episode 6, an XP farm which automatically enchants books for you. Before I start, I would like to mention that the scripts the turtles are running weren't actually made by me. Relevant links to the scripts can be found in the description. Okay, so let's get into looking at how the farm works. Instead of pistons, I use water currents to push the mobs. This is obviously far cheaper and a lot easier to do. I use two separate tiers of water to push the mobs in each direction. The first pushes the mobs into the centre along the width of the farm, and the second pushes them into the absolute centre. If you try to push the mobs into the centre without doing this, they will take too long to go through the gap, and a load of mobs will build up. The mob which I'm farming in this instance is with the skeletons. A wide range of mobs can be used in this farm if all you want is XP, but when you when you use wither skeletons you can get masses of wither skulls. There is a glitch where wither spawners do actually display skeletons in the overworld, but they do spawn wither skeletons, in case you're wondering. There are two turtles at the bottom of the drop zone. Initially the mob will be weakened by the fall. This means the turtles at the bottom can one hit each mob. Turtles run off a simple coding language called Lua, along with the rest of the computer craft mod. Because both of these turtles have swords attached to them, it means they can attack players and mobs. This turtle here is running the basic attack script, which can be found on the Feed Beast wiki, uh, links in the description. What you want to do is just type that in and then run the script. You also want to make sure the inventory is completely full before starting the farm up because the turtle will then pick up the drops and you don't want that. This turtle will take um, books from above it, in this case I've put them in a barrel. You can quite easily make a book farm and refill this automatically, but the turtle will take books from here and when it runs out of a stack it will refill this slot and it will enchant the book and place it next to it. When the it tries to enchant again it will deposit all of its items into this chest here which is then pulled out by a filter and sent along this sorting system of sorts <laughs> here you can see the main drops wither skulls coal and bones basically this part here is extremely simple it's just a um, pneumatic tube running above the barrels and depositing them in there but for sorting out the books, it's slightly more complicated. You can, if you want to, create a barrel array for each book individually, but what I've chosen to do here is simply deposit them into this chest. The void pipe here is just for stone swords, as they're pretty useless. Some of you may be thinking, if this farm's constantly running, won't drops, you know, mobs build up really quickly? And that's true. So. I've thought of an extremely easy way of fixing that problem. This lovely device here is just basically an RS latch hooked up to two timers. The timers um, have an interval of five, 10 seconds and 30 seconds. What this basically does is when every 30 seconds a timer will go off and it will switch the state of the latch there and that will mean the spawner can run for 10 seconds as when this 10 second timer goes back it turns it off so it basically cuts the time the spawn is on for by two thirds this then stops mob building up and means you can just leave it to run for as long as you like I would just like to point out that this thing here is a redstone transmitter and that's just transmitting a signal up to the spawner and also I'd like to say that these timings aren't the absolute most efficient they are just simply ones which I found which work and make sure the spawner doesn't build up. For some reason a bones managed to escape. So that wraps up the episode guys. As always the world download is in the description and if you have anything to say about this design please don't hesitate to put it in the comments. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank everybody as I know this is slightly too late slightly late but I've hit 100 subscribers and 10,000 total views this does mean a lot to me guys and I would just like to thank everybody for watching and I'm glad you enjoy my videos. But anyway, take care, see you next time. Mm -hmm.